So, um, in Japan, uh, there are many Shinto shrines, and um, you see this structure, uh, which is called Tori. -i. By the way, I, I don't know why it's called Tori -i is. Uh, I don't know why is it called Tori. -i. Uh, Tori -i literally, well, if I write it, uh, I can write it. Tori literally means uh, bird exists. So, where, here, where, here is the bird, but I don't know why it's called Tori. Actually, so you know, what I I'm gonna say is that you know, oh yeah, we do have many Shinto shrines all over Japan. We do have many many um, Shinto shrines in Tokyo, and I also you know sometimes make a visit to these Shinto shrine. Uh, when I run, uh, sometimes I encounter a Shinto shrine, and then I pay respect and you know. But I won't say that. So. This uh, Tori form is really familiar, but as I said, you know, as somebody who was born in Japan and has been brought up here, I don't know why it's called Tori. So this is something unconscious. Um, you know, when you go back to the basics uh, of Shin Japanese Shinto uh, belief, uh, for example, if you have a mountain here, Right, a very sacred mountain here. What you worship was the mountain itself. So this tree in front of that just is just a symbol where uh, which you would tell you where the god is. You know, so ancient Japanese people uh, believe that the mountain itself was the god. Uh, but you know, in order to suggest uh, that this is a very sacred place, you needed some symbolism. So that's when the tree came about. So this uh, structure uh, symbolizes the beginning of a sacred uh, ground. So in that respect, uh, th this structure itself uh, does not have an explicit meaning. Uh, it has only implicit meaning. Uh, to suggest that uh, the sacred area starts from here. So that is probably the reason why uh, when a typical Japanese person like me uh, sees uh, the tree featured in a uh, film uh, made abroad, uh, like, uh, I don't know, like the James Bond film, uh, 007, uh, I think which was based once in Tokyo. And, you know, in order to show that this is Japan, they sometimes <coughs> depict uh, Tori as a main feature. So, so this is Japan because this is there is Tori there. That that makes us kind of uneasy because we actually don't refer to the tree explicitly because, as I said, this is a implicit symbolism of what is uh, sacred. So we don't refer to tree is uh, explicitly. Uh, you know, it, it's a really interesting um, feature of Japanese culture, I think. Uh, okay, tree exist, but we do not refer to them so much. Uh, we do not uh, treat them as visual objects to be identified, acknowledged, yeah, we do acknowledge it, but in a, only in an implicit way, not in an explicit way. So when a foreign film, uh, by the way, uh, tree is sometimes painted red, so you might uh, perceive this as reddish. Yeah, that is correct. But so when a foreign film or foreign, foreign video uh, features the tree as something explicitly there, something that is to be admired, and is something that is to be uh, observed, looked up, look up, looked upon at, you know, it feels a bit uneasy. Although th this is not an, you know, certain uh, cultural code. I mean, we are not so aware of the tree to begin with. Um, so we don't have any explicit cultural uh, code. We don't have any code, for example, uh, which uh, says that uh, taking a picture of a tree is not a good idea. 
Well, you, you can take a picture of the tree, um, of course, uh, if you want. Uh, but you know, the way the tree is depicted in uh, foreign films sometimes makes it a bit strange. So this is a really um, subtle point about Japanese culture. I hope you, you know, understood what I meant. You know, the mountain, or you know, the tra tradition in Shinto religion, something else. Actually, the you know place where the god was supposed to reside is you know, th these places were always implicit. So you, it's not um, you know something that you can see. So tree is not deity itself, of course. I mean, you know, it's not, uh, uh, you know, uh, object of worship. So, <laughs> it's there, but you uh, act as if you do not take so much notice of it. So, that I think that's a really unique feature of Japanese culture.